welcome back to my channel um, if you're new here my name is Athena and I make videos related to uh, motherhood mother life yeah I post those videos every Monday and every Friday I post kind of curvy girl fashion videos so yeah if you like this kind of content please stick with me and um, hopefully you will enjoy my videos in today's video i um, want to show you my current uh, evening skincare routine last week basically on monday i last monday i posted a morning skincare routine and today i want to show you my evening skincare routine i currently i'm not breastfeeding or anything like that but um, my, you know, the skincare that I'm gonna show you is uh, pregnant friendly and also breastfeeding friendly. So if you are pregnant or if you are breastfeeding, this skincare is suitable for you as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So yeah, basically I'm just gonna start with cleansing my face. I'm currently was using this facial wash that I showed you before. I'm not a hundred percent happy with that because it's irritating my eyes and it's a bit drying. But um, yeah, I guess I have to use it until I get a new one. And also, I look all look at these uh, pimples that I got. Um, I'm on my period, so maybe that's why or maybe it's stress as well because I've been quite stressed out recently so yeah maybe it's because of that but anyway so yeah first thing I do cleanse my face to remove any, any products any dirt from the day any SPF run cleanse my face we want a clean face to you know before we put um, any products on the face so yeah I'm just using circular motions like that all right I that's my face so I'm just using a towel clean towel to um, dry my face I'm I'm just dumping the you know um, the towel on my face I don't want to dry my face completely because um, I'm using hyaluronic acid and uh, when you use hyaluronic acid it's good for your face to be a bit dumb like not completely dry so yeah that's the first product I'm gonna use that's the hyaluronic acid from the ordinary you know just just put a few running out of it a few drops on my hands and then apply my face make sure you don't you know you don't do this you don't touch the draw part on your face because you know bacteria go, can go on the draw part thing and it's not a good thing you know you want everything to be clean as much as possible you don't want any bacteria on your face Okay, after I put my hyaluronic acid, I am going ahead with my Pankuchio serum. I, I'm not sure how to say it, to be honest. That's a new product I'm using. You know, it's an alternative to retinol. So, um, you know, retinol helps with aging wrinkles and all that this is a very good alternative if you are pregnant or breastfeeding 
this is a very safe product to use um, I haven't heard of it before I haven't tried it before that's the first time I'm using this so I'm hoping I'm gonna see some result results from it in the meantime all I can see is my skin breaking out like crazy um, I'm not sure if this the products or just me being super stressed out so yeah you just I just put three pumps on my face you know and uh, your neck as well that's it so next thing I'm using is um, a vitamin C brightening sleeping mask that's from Boots um, it's a Boots um, you know product and um, I've read some good reviews on it so that's why I'm trying it so yeah just put a little bit I mean just enough for my face really it has a bit of an orange smell I usually prefer my skincare to be without any fragrance and all that because it can irritate the skin but sometimes it's nice to have skincare that smells nice as well massage it into my skin Skin. okay that's that and the last thing I'm using is uh, my retinol eye cream so this one warning 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 if you're pregnant or breastfeeding do not put that on your um, face I'm gonna link down a alternative for this so yeah instead of that you can use the caffeine solution the ordinary has it Boots has it as well, that's what I would suggest, do not use that. So, um, just, I know I should have really been doing that, but I can't be bothered to put it on my finger today. And I'm also putting it on my pimples and everything, because retinol helps with that, apparently. Um, but I think my breakout is just... You know it's related to my hormones and um, my cycle as with every woman and my stress levels as well let's pull a look at that so um yeah that's that's my simple skincare routine night time routine you know it's just simple quick so if you're a mom who is rushing to do her skincare to you know to you know it's not easy we don't always have the luxury of time when you're a mom when you are a working woman when you're busy in general so um, a more simple skincare is a key you know that will help you as well keep up with it if it's too complicated, if it's too long, you won't, you won't keep up with it. You will just, you won't be, you can't be bothered, isn't it, to be following like 30 steps of skincare. But, but yeah, that's what I got for you today. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with people that might find it helpful. And I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I'll see you very, very soon. And also leave me comments down below what products are you using what works for you what works for your you know breakouts because yeah sometimes I just get so annoyed but but anyway see you soon see you see you. see you see you soon see you soon all night long yeah we dance with our raising tongues and all day long